This is Tom Robbins with the SharePoint Institute and welcome to my blog post for today uh, discussing SharePoint 2013 information management policies. So today we're going to take an existing content type and apply an information management policy to that content type. So to get started I've already created a Excel expense report or corporate expense report content type and basically this is just a basic content type that has a template attached to it and I have some site columns attached to it to provide the metadata and I simply want to set up a policy uh, for this expense report to say that after one year all of the previous versions will be deleted but after two years the actual expense report will be deleted completely from the system. So I'll open information management policy settings to attach a policy to this specific expense report content type. So we'll just click on define policy and we'll give it a description here. Delete versions one year. Delete expense report let's just say five years and then we give it a policy statement this policy statement is what the user will actually see when they open the document or if they check the compliance details on the document uh, within the document library and we could say the same thing um, delete versions one year delete expense report five years per IT policy and maybe you have some IT policy number IT 1544 and then out of all of the different options for the information management policy we'll simply click on enable retention and we'll add a retention stage so let's say from the date the expense report was created for one year delete all previous versions of the document Okay, so this will guarantee that one year after the creation of the expense report, all previous versions will be deleted. And then we can add that second stage and say created after five years. Let's go ahead and move it to the recycle bin. So we've gotten two uh, specific policies for retention for this document. And we click OK. And now that we've got the content type, uh, we'll go ahead and create a library to place the content type in and then I'll show you how it looks so I'm just going to create a quick document library call it expense report expense reports create the library and now associate that content type uh, with the library uh, and to do that first we go under library settings under advanced settings and allow the management of content types. Now under our expense report settings we can actually go in and add that expense report content type to the library and we'll just click on document to get rid of the default document content type in this library. So now we have the expense report content type associated with the library and when it's time for someone to create an expense report they simply choose new document corporate expense report and then your template will open and I just chose one of the out-of-the-box templates but notice now across the top near the document information panel or below slightly below the document information panel you'll see the policy and the policy statement we entered is displayed here for the user and just to finish this up we'll just provide the expense amount the date of the expense report and the project it's associated to and then we'll just save it back to this library and we'll just take the default name so now if I close Excel and return to my library you'll see the expense report is here and if you want to see the actual compliance policy come here to compliance details and you'll see that this document after one year all versions will be deleted and it will occur on 10 6 2015 and after that five years uh, or, or four more years after that the document will be removed to the recycle bin so that's an example of how we use uh, information management policy on a content type
so that concludes my blog post for today or for this week. Uh, please stay tuned for more information management policy video blogs. Uh, follow me at Twitter, uh, Master SharePoint, MSTR SharePoint. Thank you.